Inventions that were invented by accident. Part four. The inventor of Botox was working on a treatment for crossed eyes. But after the treatment, everyone's skin looked really good. Silly Putty was originally marketed as a wallpaper cleaner. But think about how ridiculously hard it would be to clean an entire room with Silly Putty. The product was a massive failure until one man picked it up and said, hey, this stuff's pretty silly. Saccharin, the first artificial sweetener, was invented by a man who literally just forgot to wash his hands after an experiment before eating a sandwich. In any other lab in the world, he'd probably be dead. But luckily for him, he was just like, wow, these chemicals taste really sweet. I'm gonna eat more. Completely useless facts that you don't need to know, part eight. Facts number one, humans are the only animals that actually enjoy eating spicy food. Fact number two, Minnesota has more shorelines than California, Florida, and Hawaii combined. Fact number three, every odd number has the letter E in it. Fact number four, newborn babies don't shed tears because it takes at least two weeks for your tear ducts to form. Fact number five, there are over 7,500 different kinds of apples, but only 100 are sold commercially in the U.S., and some of these colors get crazy, like yellow and pink apples. Facts number six, Betty White, who was born in 1922, is older than microwaves, trampolines, and sliced bread. They just hadn't been invented yet. Fact number seven, dogs can actually smell certain strands of cancer, and with proper training, they can alert their owners. And finally, fact number eight, the entire study of psychology is literally just the brain trying to figure itself out. Think about it. Interesting facts about India. India has the second biggest population on Earth. The game chess started in India. India produces the most movies in the world. Yoga originated in India. India is the seventh biggest country on earth. Ever wonder what the heck we're actually looking in your ear for with these things? Daily Doctor Facts. This is an otoscope. We use it to look in your ear. We take these little tips, put it on the otoscope like this. We place this in your ear and peer through that tiny hole. This is what we theoretically want to see inside. This here is your tympanic membrane, and around it is the external auditory meatus, otherwise known as the external ear canal. Now, this tympanic membrane absorbs sound waves and transfers it to your hearing centers. But people can get holes in this, scarring, things that affect their hearing. They can also get ear infections, which can make your eardrum look really red, bulge out, and kind of you can see some stuff behind it rather than that nice clear we had in the last picture. So these are super helpful to check for certain types of hearing problems, wax, and infections. Take a look at the tiger's tooth. A tiger's tooth is much more of a sharpened peg. You see it's very thick at the base and it slowly comes down to a point, but it stays very thick almost all the way up to the tip. They're not very sharp. It does have a serrated edge running down the back. If you can see that, it's actually bladed down the back there. So it'll cut through anything that goes behind the teeth. Kind of like a knife. Okay, so I hope I'm not like the only human on the planet to not know this, but a while back, my dad came over and was watching me do laundry. And if you use this kind of soap that dispenses down into this little cup, you know, it's really convenient, but it sucks when you pour it out because all the stuff gets stuck on the inside. My dad, <laughs> my dad said to me, you know, you can just throw the whole cup in there. I'm like, what do you mean? I always pour it all in there. And he's like, no, just throw the whole cup. Did you know that by age 40 and beyond, it gets increasingly difficult to read up close. It's called presbyopia. And most patients use reading glasses to help. Things that are important in a relationship. Number one, music taste, okay? I'ma just be real with y'all. If you like country music, this probably won't last very long. Because if we get in the car and I decide to play a song like Earthquake, which is extremely well known, and I'm in the car vibing like, is you make my earthquake? And you sitting over there like this. I know right from there that this will not last. Number two, okay, we need to have a sense of humor that's somewhat compatible. Because I play way too much and I am way too sarcastic for you to be getting sensitive when I tell you to shut up. Because I know that I'm playing, but if we don't have the same sense of humor and understanding, then you're gonna get offended. Number three, okay, I'm sorry this one is for the girls, but I need y'all to be decisive. It's not that I can't make the decisions, it's just I want you to be clear with what it is that you want. If you need emotional support, Tell me. If you want food, tell me. Don't just take my food because you hungry and didn't want to tell me you want food. Communicate with me. Thank you for your time. Let me just start this video off by saying dreams 
piss me off. First of all, why is it that all of the bad dreams last eight hours and all of the good ones get interrupted? Because I can be having my worst nightmare and I have to go through that torture for eight hours straight. And as soon as you have a good dream, that's when somebody has to wake you up. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot recall one time ever being woken up while I was having a bad dream. And it can never even be like an average dream. No, it has to be the dream where you are with your soulmate, doing things you like to do, and then your parents come in the room in the morning and say, hey, it's time for school. And it sucks because you go through that moment of maybe if I go back to sleep, I could dream about it again. And you know it ain't gonna happen. And another thing, why are my dreams better than my life right now? And it's like torture because how can you put me in a set of circumstances that is so perfect and then you wake me up to deal with this again? And I hate how believable they are because I can fall asleep in class for four seconds and somehow believe I'm falling to my death from a skyscraper. And then you wake up startled as hell thinking you were really going to die and everybody's just looking at you like you're stupid. Thank you for your time.